And now, your WAWD forecast first. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Now we're looking at cloudy skies here this afternoon on the Graver Post building cam. Right there, just south of I-70, so not a whole lot of sunshine peeking through today. 48 degrees, a little cooler than it was yesterday in Terre Haute. 53 in Robinson. 54 in Effingham. That's our warm spot right now, just 54 degrees. The rest of the day, expect more clouds and winds to start to calm down. As we end the overnight, not quite as cold this evening, but more rain on the way tomorrow. We're going to talk about that in the full forecast coming up. Your news starts right now. This is local news that matters. You're watching WAWV News at Noon. It's Teen Driver Awareness Month. Time to make sure those teens you know stay safe while behind the wheel. And the iconic Pumpkin Works closing after 26 years of fun will tell you its final date. Also, students surprise their janitor on his birthday. Find out what choked him up. Well, good afternoon to you and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Dana Winkleplack. Well, this week is National Teen Driver Safety Week. Officials in Vico County doing their part to educate teens and parents about the dangers and the risks. It is our top story. According to AAA, motor vehicle accidents are the leading cause of death among teenagers. Folks in the Valley are having some conversations to hope to help teens stay safe. AAA says between 2011 and 2015, nearly 2,000 drivers aged 15 to 17 killed in crashes. They're often caused by distracted driving and lack of defensive driving experience. Experience. Distracted driving includes texting, calling, changing music, and carrying on conversations with multiple people in the vehicle. Just takes a few seconds uh, of an ordinary drive to turn into a disaster. We're pulling, you know, teenagers out of the vehicle, like you said, with the jaws of life, or they weren't wearing a seatbelt and they were ejected out of the vehicle. Chances and services for youth are encouraging parents to sit down and have a conversation with their teens, also discuss safe driving habits, and promise not to text and drive. Just a way to be proactive and prevent a tragedy. Oh, election Day fast approaching. Illinois Republican Governor Bruce Rauner made a campaign stop in Marshall. He addressed issues that will impact those in Clark County. Rauner calls the governor's race critically close. Both nominees have called for change when it comes to the budget and bringing business to that state, but they have opposite ways of doing it. Rauner says lowering taxes would bring in business and jobs. He says lowering taxes would also be the answer to reducing the budget deficit. Our economy has always grown slower than our government spending. Our economy has been relatively flat, and our government spending has been on a rocket ship. That's got to change. That's what I'm fighting to do. Rauner is running against Democrat J.B. Pritzker, Sam McCain from the Conservative Party, and Libertarian Cash Jackson. A series of pipe bombs targeting top Democrats have sent shockwaves through political circles nationwide. Natasha Chin fills us in on nine potential targets. Authorities say a suspicious package intended for former Vice President Joe Biden has been intercepted at a post office in Delaware. It is the ninth of such packages found this week. Clearly there's a pattern. Uh, it does appear to be very consistent. Each of these packages coming from the exact same person or people, the exact same style, the exact same materials. Uh, we have every reason to believe there might be some more. Earlier Thursday, police said they were called about one addressed to actor Robert De Niro. The package was found at De Niro's production office in Lower Manhattan. Sources say it's similar to the ones sent to prominent Democrats. On Monday, a package targeting billionaire investor George Soros was found in a mailbox. Then Tuesday, one intended for Hillary Clinton was discovered. And by Wednesday, more devices were intercepted. Luckily, none of the packages detonated. We are fine, thanks to the men and women of the Secret Service. Uh, who intercepted uh, the package addressed to us. A source familiar with the investigation says the packages were sent by first-class mail with the return address of Debbie Wasserman Schultz's office in Sunrise, Florida. President Donald Trump has condemned the attacks, calling for unity and civil discourse. We want all sides to come together in peace and harmony. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. It'll happen. Well, police 
have so far made no arrests. Back here in the Valley, a wreck in Paris, Illinois, sent one man to the hospital and then to jail. Police responded to the scene of a pickup truck that crashed into a tree. The driver, Mark McConchie of Garfield, transported to the hospital with injuries, later arrested on several charges, including driving under the influence of alcohol. What is the perfect time to head to the pumpkin patch for 26 years? Pumpkin Works in Paris, Illinois, has been the place to go for fall fun. But after all these years, it's officially closing. The owners say the stress of keeping the business just too much. They want to retire. They're very thankful, though, for all the business over the years and the memories. Right now, they're not seeking a new owner. They just want to enjoy this last weekend. Pumpkin Works is going to be open to the public Friday, Saturday, and then the last day is on Sunday. Well, Hurricanes Michael and Florence, they're long gone, but the effects still being felt. One thing impacted is the blood supply. The storms forced more than 250 blood drives to have to be canceled. So the American Red Cross needs all of our help. It will host a community-wide blood drive in Terre Haute Sunday, October 28th. That is this Sunday. Going to take place from noon until 5 at the Red Cross office located at 700 South 3rd Street. You can schedule an appointment by calling 1-800-RED-CROSS or by visiting redcrossblood.org. You can use the sponsor code ARC. Wabash Valley. Well, folks at Texas Roadhouse wants to say a great big thank you to all veterans across the country, and they're doing it by offering a free lunch. On Sunday, November 11th, the restaurant is inviting all active, retired, and former members of the military to come down to Texas Roadhouse. It's the eighth annual Texas Size Thank You for Serving Our Country. Veterans will be treated to a free lunch. It includes steak, sides, drinks, and oh, those rolls, you know, with all that good butter. Mm -hmm, yum. If you're a veteran and you're interested in attending the event, we have some information for you on our website. All you need to do is go to mywalbashvalley.com. Com. Well, crush the epidemic. That was the theme of a special motivational event focusing on ending drug addiction. People gathered at Mayo Middle School in Paris, Illinois. They listened to the guest speaker, Nick Morgan. He's the founder of Crush the Epidemic. It's an addiction awareness outreach group. He shared a story of recovery and addiction to drugs and alcohol. If there's one thing that I could say to the person that's out there struggling, there is hope. You know, the most courageous thing I ever did was put my hands up and say I needed help. You know, there is a solution. And that event is sponsored by CARE, standing for Community Addiction Response and Education. It's a local task force developed to address drug abuse in Edgar County. In addition, over the next couple of days, Morgan will speak to junior high and high school students at all Edgar County schools. Local news that matters with Dana Winkleplatt and weather with Alyssa Andrews. You're watching WAWV News at Noon.